In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent to sent by God to a town Galilee called called Nazareth to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary, and he he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God, and now you will convict in your wound and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most Highest, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will regain over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be since I am a virgin? Mary said to the angel, How can this be since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. And now your relative Elizabeth in her old age has also conceived a son, and this is the sixth month for her who is said to be found. For nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee, in Galilee to, Ju- to, Ju- to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was... He was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in the manger, because there was no place for him in the inn. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. They were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people to use born this day. In the city of David, a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth, um, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them, and gone into heaven the shepherds said to one another let us go now to bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place which the lord has made known to us so they went with haste and found mary and joseph and the child lying in the manger when they saw this they made known what had and told them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told them. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, 
Wise men from the east came to, came to Jerusalem asking, where is the child who has been born king of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising and have come to pay him homage. When King, when, when king Herod heard this, he was frightened and all of Jerusalem with him. And calling all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the, where the Messiah to, was to be born. They told him, in Bethlehem of Judea, for, is this, for so it has been written by the prophet. And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judea, you are no, by no means the least among the rulers of Judea. For from you shall come a ruler, who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men, and learned from the exact time when the star had appeared. That appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word, so that I may also go to him and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there... Ahead of them went the star. They had seen it rise. They had seen it at its rising until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then, opening their treasure chests, they offered and earned him gifts of good frankincense and myrrh. And having been warned in the dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another road.